Hello friends and welcome to the Coin Engineer YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to use the linear testnet which is powered by consensus which most of you know consensus from MetaMask wallets. If you don't know MetaMask wallets you should start watching our MetaMask tutorials because in this video we will use MetaMask wallet and in this video I will show you how to use the linear testnet and also how to request girly faucet tokens, how to use the hub exchange and request USDC faucet tokens and last how to provide feedback for this testnet but before we start i would like to say that we are not just an airdrop channel i know most of you want us to share airdrop videos but we have various tutorials that you should check from our playlists and by doing so you can learn a few more things by the cryptocurrencies and blockchains metaverses nfts and much more as you can see we have this for example bitcoin from the scratch tutorial where it has 66 videos starting from what is bitcoin and then the technical analysis um lots of things actually let's let's have a look at it for as you can see it starts with what is bitcoin and halving and mining 25 crypto terms what is bitcoin mining what is white paper coin versus token what is nft what is stable coin how to use coin market cap finance futures tutorials metamask tutorials technical analysis and much more and we have many playlists like this one so you should check out the others and meanwhile you can always subscribe to our channels turn on the notifications and join our telegram community and also follow our twitter and instagram and tiktok channels to keep up with latest news and updates <laughs> So as I said, I will talk about Linea today and Linea as I said is powered by Consensus and it's a new project. It only has 29.8 thousand followers on Twitter and when you have a look at its website, it has a simple yet very dynamic website by my opinion. He says that developer friendly design to build, test and launch decentralized applications faster. It works with Metamask, Infra, Truffle, Basu. And also you can create projects with Linea on Ethereum layer 1. We can see that it supports NFTs, gaming, infrastructure, payments and DeFi. And as I said, the project is in a very early stage. And if you would like to know more about this project, you can always comment below and we will do a project review for you. So let's start with the MetaMask wallet first. As I said, you can check our MetaMask tutorials from the, from the cart and also from our playlists on our YouTube channel, which is right here, as you can see. And after creating your wallet, you have to activate Girly and Linea test nets. And to do that, you can click on this icon, choose settings, and then choose advanced and activate show test networks. After doing that, you can go to networks and select any of these test nets. In this case, we will need Linea and Girly test nets. And let's start with Girly first. Come to this web page, which you can find the links below. Copy your wallet address. Click on this box to verify that you're not a robot. And then click on send me Ethereum button. Currently, I cannot send it because today I I already uh, did some transactions so I, I already used my chance for today you can request only once per day so for that reason I cannot request at the moment but you can do it by copying your wallet address and then clicking on the send me Ethereum button we will need this girly faucet tokens because later on we will use the hub exchange to swap girly faucet tokens from our girly network to the linear network so after requesting your girly test network tokens the second step is to request USDC and hub tokens from the hub exchange for linea network so again change your network to linea and then connect your wallet and request usdc token first Request it and confirm it you might need to wait for a moment because you know there are some transactions happening after requesting the usdc request the hub tokens now we successfully minted 10 hub tokens now that we have minted these tokens our second step will be to transfer these tokens between from the Gurdy network to linea network and to do that we need to click on this send button first select girly from here and then choose linea 
from here. Let's start with hub tokens first. Since I have 10 hub tokens, for example, let's send five of these hub tokens to Linear Network. Click on this approve button, uh, but it says hub is currently not supported on Linear. So let's skip the hub token and continue with the USDC. I have 10 USDC coin and I will send five USDC coin to the Linear Network. We already selected Girly and Linear Networks. And after typing the amount, click on this approve button again and confirm the request from your MetaMask wallet. As you can see, it takes some time, but it's because there are too many people are trying these networks at the moment. So there is a traffic and for that reason, sometimes it may, it may even give some errors. Just be aware of that and be careful. Now that we have completed the USDC, let's continue with the Ethereum option. Let's say I would like to send 0.05. Ethereum. Again, approve the transaction from both the website and the MetaMask wallet. Hopefully, it will complete the transaction today so that we can continue to the video. One hour later. Still waiting. One minute, 37 seconds later. Still waiting. But to be fair, here it says that this may take a few minutes. So maybe I shouldn't complain this much. Luckily, I will cut these parts that so you don't have to see me suffering until this pending is completed. A few moments later. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. So finally that it is completed, we can continue doing the same applications, this time from Linear Network to Golden Network. And how do we do it? It is simple, just click on this button and as you can see it switched from and two options to Linear and Golly. So again, we will use it and this time I will send 0.02 Ethereum back to my Gorli wallet. Or maybe you know what, I will send 0.001 because then I will use the pool option, which we will use the pool option together to provide liquidity. And in that case, I think it's even better to, smarter to send some more Ethereum from your Gorli to Linea. And also the more transactions you make, but on different days, not on the same day, the more transactions you make, the more chances you will have to get airdrops if there will be some airdrop from any project that you have tested so far by watching our tutorials and also if you haven't watched those tutorials yet you know what to do you can just go back to our channel and from our playlists you can select for example where is it we have several airdrop videos and like for example the campaigns i think there was the yeah, airdrop campaigns free airdrops their projects etc so you can watch those videos as well let's go back to hop exchange under fee greater than estimated received so i can send that much oh or no okay I'm zero one so after sending i couldn't send 0 0.1 and for that reason i will send 0 0.19 and it's already and now i can't even send that because of the gas fees are constantly changing so i will change it to 0 0.2 and let's click on the send button again confirm the request from both metamask and the website one more time gas fees even on the test networks if it's ethereum it's crazy so ridiculous hopefully soon with the new networks like arbitrum darknet linea zk sync sui aptos etc with those networks hopefully we will soon fix this problem not long ago i wanted to buy some nft from OpenSea, and the nft's price was like ten dollars or something and it asked me to pay twenty dollars for the for the gas fees really don't like making transactions on ethereum networks but it's not that we have any other options again we have to wait for another year until this transaction is over at that time let me show you our website still not completed yet but through this website you can access the various market data blogs news and many other information also the links where you can sign up for exchanges with lifetime discounts and also access to our other training videos and other short videos and other other also social media platforms too, such as instagram twitter telegram linkedin tiktok discord etc back still pending so i will just wait another hour and then <laughs> i'll be back i'll be back so it's finally over and we can continue with usdc which is strange that it doesn't show my usdc balance in here for some reason it's 
it seems that um, it didn't transfer from our Gordy network to Linea network. For that reason, let's try it again. The 5 USDC, confirm the request again, send it, it, DC to MetaMask, add it. Okay, we added the USDC as well. Let's wait for a couple of minutes. Because on the USDC is actually much more faster than the Ethereum, so we don't have to wait for 10 minutes or something. Two thousand years later. So now the transaction is completed. As you can see, I have five um, USDC coin on my linear network and five USDC on my girly network. Now I will send one USDC back to the girly network. Under fee greater than the estimate received. So two USDC. USDC. Anyway, you know, let's send one USDC. So I will send one USDC back. But as you can see, it says the estimated fee will be 30 USDC and estimated receipt will be zero USDC in that case because I, by that logic, I still have to pay um, 36 more USDC to receive that one USDC but don't worry about it since it will be all re all um, registered on the on the blockchain even if you don't receive that USDC as long as it approved in here as long as you see on your metamask wallet it should be fine number in here prove it if it's going to work and after completing this step let's have a look at the pool option if you don't know what are the pools or let's say if you don't know how to add the liquidity you can watch our um, decentralized exchange tutorials which is here to learn how to provide liquidity and how to use pools in decentralized exchanges also you can watch our exchange tutorials to learn how to use pools in decentralized exchanges as well so here in this pools we can provide liquidity and we have to add h ethereum or h usdc as we are using the hub exchange at the moment combined with ethereum coins on polygon optimism arbitrum and linear networks and to provide liquidity, for example, on Linea Network, let's say, click on Add Liquidity button. I don't have wrapped Ethereum at the moment, but as you can see that it says click here to wrap or unwrap Ethereum, click on it, and then select the amount. For example, I would like to wrap uh, one Ethereum. Click on Wrap button. Again, confirm the request from your MetaMask. Click on Wrap. will pop up in here again. Confirm it. And now, as you can see, I have one wrapped Ethereum coin. But I also need H Ethereum. And to have it, I need to use this convert option. Click on the convert and then select, for example, 0 0.5 to have another 0 0.5 on H Ethereum. Can we approve it? We cannot approve it. Add Ethereum account to for the transaction fee. So, okay, I don't have enough Ethereum left. So let's go back to send option to send more Ethereum from my Gordy to Linea. Um, you know what? Let's send um, two Ethereum just in case, you know. You can always send the remaining back to our Gordy wallet. So that's not an issue. Again, click on the send button and then confirm the request from the MetaMask. Let's let's wait for a few moments. So I have transferred some more Ethereum from my um, Gordy network, Linea network. And now let's continue this uh, transaction to transfer some wrapped Ethereum to H Ethereum. Click on this approve button, switch the network, approve, confirm, confirm let's wait for it to be approved and now i think it is approved so now as you can see we have 0 0.5 wrapped ethereum and 0 0.5 h ethereum and now let's go back to pool option select linear pool and add liquidity let's add 0 0.5 wrapped ethereum and 0 0.5 h ethereum click on preview deposit approve the transaction from metamask and let's wait since it's on testnet it may not be successful but that's the whole point of the test net we just have to try as much as possible as many options as possible so let's wait for more to see if it's going to be completed or not then we can continue with the swap option swap will be the last to test on this network at the moment and it is not on this website so we will use another website for it and as i said in the beginning you can find all the links below this video so it seems that it's completed let's click on the done button and as you can see that we have this Ethereum linear 
pool information, the wrapped Ethereum reserves, Edge Ethereum reserves, LP tokens, which is a liquidity provider token, the fee and the virtual price of the token. If I want to withdraw, for example, I can come, come to this section and I can click on withdraw and I can adjust the proportion. At the moment, I will just keep it stacked, but you can also do it to, you know, test, test more options as I just said it. But I will not do it now. Maybe I will do it later. So now that we have completed these transactions on Pop Exchange, we can continue with the swap option on Linea. Just click on the swap button and it will direct you to the Uniswap um, Gorli network or Gorli swap option, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to name it. Just click on this connect button. Again, select MetaMask. So as you can see that I have this 1.9 Ethereum coin on my Linea network. And let's combine these tokens with consensus rollup wrap 0.0. .0 five i will just start with 0 0.05 again click on this wrap button and confirm request for metamask and after doing that let's wait for a few more moments then we can continue with crusd go with 0 0.5 again click on the swap button confirm the request a little bit too much coin maybe it won't accept us to do this transaction we will see because it's too much sometimes it does it sometimes it don't and Wonderful. It actually completed transaction even in 2.5 seconds. Impressive for a test net. And again, we have this pool option, but um, at the moment we don't have any pools, but you can try this new position button to, for example, create a pool for yourself. Let's say I want to uh, use CR wrapped Ethereum to CR USDC. Let's see if I can make it. Best for exotic pair specs for most play table pair. Let's go with exotic pairs, for example. Let's see if I can add some. Well, as you can see, something went wrong and I have to go back to the page. If I can, we cannot. So I have to close it and then reopen it. Let's try something else, for example. And this time, try CR USD, for example. With again, wrapped Ethereum. Click on 0 0.05 maximum to maximum. Let's see if we can approve it. Click on next again for the transaction since it's the test net as you can see the background is not so usable at the moment but i think we have managed to add the liquidity for this pool let's check if we have managed it so this time let's try another one for example so we have completed that transaction too and we can close this page and then we can check the gorli block explorer and linear black explorer to check our transactions again you can copy our metamask wallet address and paste it into this box to check the transactions same for the linear network as well you can copy our wallet address and paste it in here last but not least we have this feedback form that we have to fulfill for example how satisfied you are with the linear testnet what did you like most about the linear testnet did you experience any issues, etc.? By answering these questions, you will be also helping the team to um, develop for better use. And by providing this feedback, you will have more chance to get that airdrop. So don't forget to complete this questionnaire. And this is the end of our video for today, guys. You know what to do. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can always subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications, and join our other communities, which you can find the links below this video. Thank you for watching and take care. Until next time.